Welcome to lesson two of our short video series on how to program your new GT5 3-axis gyro. This series of videos will take you from the basic setup of the GT5 to your first flight with this gyro. Let's look at making the appropriate connections. The GT5 has eight physical ports. Five of them are for servo outputs. The GT5 follows the wiring standard for most radio systems. Black, negative, is the bottom pin, and signal is the top pin. Connect your servos as follows. The throttle servo to the throttle port. Tail pitch servo wire to the tail port. Left servo to the aileron left port. Elevator servo to the elevator port. Right servo to the aileron right port. We recommend that the connectors be secured with a dab of hot glue or tape. Next we will look at receiver installation. First let's look at a Spectrum DSM-2 system. You will need two DSM-2 satellite receivers for a Spectrum system. Plug the satellite receivers into the two ports on the top side of the GT5. This completes your connections. If you are using a standard receiver, make the following connections. Use the included male-male connectors to connect the receiver elevator channel to IMP1. And the aileron channel to IMP2 on the GT5 gyro. Locate the three-way cable that came with the GT5 gyro. Using the special cable provided with the GT5, plug the normal end into the term port on the GT5. Connect the three individual wires as follows. The white end into the rudder. The red connector to the gain. The black to the pitch channel on the receiver. We recommend that the connectors be secured with a dab of hot glue or tape. That's all there is to connect a standard receiver. Using the GT5 with a Futaba S bus receiver is the simplest of all alternatives. Just plug the male male S bus data cable to the IMP1 port. and then you are done with the receiver connection. That's all there is to it.